Hey YouTube, Jose here, how's it going? Uh, today we're going to be going over how you can get all the wisps in every single map in Pokemon Legends Arceus. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay everyone, so the quest name is Eerie Apparitions in the Night. It's request 22. You get it really early on in the game, so if you haven't got it yet, you probably haven't progressed much. Try getting all the requests inside Jubilee Village, you'll probably get it. Once here guys, once you're in Jubilee Village, where this star is on my map... You can come talk to this little girl or boy, I'm not sure, Vesa, it's a girl. And she will tell you um, how many wisps you've collected so far, and then how many more you have left to find. And she gives you a reward for each ones you uh, get along the way. So we say how many wisps are left. Uh, there's 11 in Obsidian. I've gather, gathered all the ones in Crimson. 7 left in Cobalt. Gathered all the ones in Coronet. 13 in Alabaster. And that's it, y'all. So with her... That's how you check how many you've got. Now, you may be asking yourself, why do you want to get all these wisps? It's because you're going to be able to get Spirit Tomb. And Spirit Tomb, this is the only way you can get it in the game. So when you get it, you can do the research for it. And in addition to that, it's going to help you to be able to be one step closer to get the Shiny Charm. So let's go to Obsidian Fieldlands, and I'll show you how we can do this. All right, everybody. Here I am in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Now, the first thing I've done is taken off all my markers. I used to have all the Alpha ones. I take them all off because we're going to mark all the locations where the Spirit Tomb uh, wisps are going to be located. So the first things first that I want to talk about with y'all is that I use Cerebi.net's interactive map to get this information. So if you search Cerebi interactive map, it'll take you here. Up here, you can change which area of the map you want to be on. We'll go to Obsidian Fieldlands. And when you first get on it, guys, it's going to have Alpha Pokemon and Standard Pokemon. I'm going to link this in the description below. Um, so yeah, it'll have Alpha and Standard. You can take it off, take off those filters, and put on Spirit Tomb Wisps. So what we're going to do now is we're going to copy all these to our map, and you should do the same as well. So let's do that. All right, y'all, as you can see, all the Wisps are marked on the map for Obsidian Field Lens, as you can see here, with Apricorns, with little acorns. So you can screenshot this if you want. You can actually just use Cerebi.net and screenshot that. I encourage you to use Cerebi.net because I'm not going to go every single over every single one of these. So what you're going to do is you're going to make it nighttime, all right? Because you can only see the Wisps at night, especially from a distance. And I recommend doing this late game, y'all, because um, since you have to get the Wisps in the last area anyway... I recommend you just do it after that because the easiest way to do it is actually using a braviary. So for instance, I'm going to fly over this. And when you're flying over an area, it's so much easier to tell if you've got the wisp or not. So see the wisp over there in the distance? I already see it. It's right there on that little hill. I'm sure you guys can see it too. Yep, right here. So that's what you're going to do with each little wisp. You come up to it. You have to make sure it's nighttime. I recommend using braviary. And you get it and it'll tell you how many you got left. Now another thing you can do after you get a wisp is go into your map, close up, and take this stamp off and replace it with something else to let you know that you've got it already. You know, we can use a star here. That's so that we know. Well, actually, let's just use this mining thing. A little bit easier. All right, and then we're just going to keep on going. Now, like I said, I recommend Braviary because it lets you go from point A to point B um, really quickly. And if you get the aerial view of the area... It's going to be a whole lot easier. So I recommend doing this later game. As you can see, guys, here's the other wisp. And see how fast I can do this with Braviary? So like I said, I recommend doing this later game. So guys, that's the things you have to remember is to... If you want to do this really successfully and fast, do it when you have Braviary. Second thing, always make sure you go into the nightfall. Make it night in your game so that you can see the wisps easy. Use the aerial focus with Braviary to see all of them faster. And just like that, you're going to be able to get all the ones that you need. All right, everybody. Another thing I want to mention is you might run into an area where it, there's supposed to be a wisp, but there isn't. That just means that you probably got the wisp already. Or it has changed to daytime and you can't see it. So ch double check those two things. Um, and you can mark it on your map. You know, change it from that to maybe a Pokeball. And that's something that you can question maybe a little bit later. You can come back here, change it to nighttime. Make sure that you have it, but mark it so that you know, okay? So I'm going to quickly show you guys the spirit tomb wisps for the other map locations so that you can guys can go ahead and mark them on your map and do them at your own pace um but i respect you guys to be able to go to this website and do it i don't think you need to see me get all the wisps i think it'll be sort of a waste of time so i'm gonna go ahead and do that for you let's let's do that 
All right, y'all, for the next part of this video, I'm going to show you the map of each one of these uh, locations with the Spirit Tomb Wisp. So now we'll go to Crimson Myrlands. I already finished this one, so you take off Alpha Pokemon, you take off Standard Spawns, you put on Spirit Tomb Wisp, and here is the map for that, y'all. Go ahead and screenshot this if you want. Work with that, guys. That is the screenshot for this one. Crimson Myrlands. Go on and find them. If you don't know where one is and you're wondering you can always click on it and it'll kind of show you a little image so there's that so that's that's the crimson Myrlands one let's go to the next one cobalt coastlands i have not done this one so i'll do this one as well here's other ones for cobalt coastlands Ooh, there's one in the corner that's cool we can see how that looks um there's one up here we can see how that looks and guys this is take a screenshot of this this is all the ones in cobalt coastlands Okay, Cobalt Coastlands is done. Coronet Highlands, guys. Here's all the ones for Coronet Highlands. You can see they're all kind of on the lower end here. Take a screenshot of this. Now, this one's inside a cave. This one's a little tricky, so make sure to actually go inside the cave to find this one. And this one's outside the cave, so this one's inside the cave, all right? Um, the rest of them are pretty standard, y'all. And really quick, y'all, I just want to mention that there's another tricky one in Coronet Highlands that I do want to make you aware of. That's going to be the one right here. It's kind of where that Alpha Gudra spawns. That's actually not on the top up there. It's actually inside that little tunnel where you find Bronze Swords and Bronze Songs. So there is an opening there, and the Wisp is inside there. Okay, so keep that in mind. And lastly, let's do Alabaster Icelands. Take this off, put on the Wisps. All right, y'all, here is the screenshot for the Alabaster Iceland. So take a screenshot of this. This one is showing that it's inside here, so double check that you got it inside the inside the ruins here. <clears throat> the Snowpoint Temple, I believe. And this one is outside the Snowpoint Temple. Hey, guys, all right, the other, only other tricky one in Alabaster Iceland that I wanted to go over is that there's one right here. There's a hole, right? There's a hole right here where I am on the map. You go inside this hole. Once you're inside the hole, you're going to bust a left. This is a pretty pretty expansive tunnel, by the way. Come in here, bust a left, bust another left. And you're actually going to see Zero Aura, the small form in here, which you can catch and do research on, which is cool. But here's the Wisp. So there's that one, guys. That's another tricky one in Alabaster Icelands. All right, y'all. I just collected all the Wisps, completed it. Cobalt Coastlands was my last place. And this is the message that you get. It's time to report back to Vesa. Let's do this thing, man. <laughs> Excited. We'll need to go to the Shrouded Ruin. This last place to see works. All right, we should meet there at the same time of day when we first met. Hope you remember. Okay, now we need to go to the Shrouded Ruins in Crimson Myrlands at night. Let's go do that. All right, guys, here we are in the Crimson Myrland in the Shrouded Ruins. Oh, wait, did I, did I save? Oh, gosh. I forgot to save. Well, this Spirit Tomb cannot be shiny. I know it's shiny locked, so let's see. I may have told you one teeny tiny lie. About the whips, there are actually 108 of them. I've been holding on to the last one. Could you put in the old keystone with the others? But wait, before that, well, Jigglesworth, what do you think of me? I'm just gonna put I don't really know you. <laughs> What's gonna happen here, y'all? Really, even that? Okay, well, it's fine. We have time after all. Here goes the final wisp. Close your eyes for a second. Don't tell me she's gonna be spirit tomb. Where'd she go? <laughs> she was a ghost. Okay, hold on one second. Be safe. Oh, I think I got a chance to save. Let's go receive this last wisp. Have Keystone started going. Here we go, y'all. Hey, where's Spirit Tim? Please don't forget about me. You sense the presence of a strange Pokemon. Alright, let's do this. Oh, there it is! Did this hit it? What's. Okay. Come on, let me get you, boy. All right, we got spirit to me, y'all. 
all right guys that's it for my video it took me a while to make so i hope that um it helped you i hope that you appreciate it and um yeah i hope that it, that it was helpful if you can please like down below if it was helpful to you if you like pokemon guides and just pokemon content i'd really appreciate it if you subscribe and comment down below uh, what pokemon are you catching you know are you on the the wisp punt right now anyways guys have a great day bye Thank you.